Joanna Eve Schreier. Okay. And I'm a contemporary world teacher at St. Thomas High School in Pointe Claire, Quebec. My favorite food, sushi. Oh, do you know Coco Mbassi? Her. <laughs> I would have to say probably Caravaggio. Oh, martini. Always shaken, not stirred. I can't think of anything off the top of my head like that, no. Oh, I know. There was a little boy in California when I taught. His parents had just divorced. He came into class, he was very upset, and he's about seven, eight years old. I had to explain to him that it would be okay, that his dad had just left. And I realized at that moment that some children's lives are more difficult and they bear more weight on their shoulders than I probably ever will, even though I was already an adult. And it was very humbling. I came to appreciate that. Many of the kids that I see come in with heavy hearts. And it's not always the content that I teach, but the humanity that you bring to teaching them, you know, that they need. I would like to add, in the summertime, I'd like to add an air conditioner. And in the wintertime, maybe a carpet. A nice furry, fluffy carpet. I don't remember, I don't cry. I'm not a crier. Movies, since I've had kids, any movie where a child is hurt or, or killed or in any way abused really, really bothers me. So I would say a movie like that, but I don't remember the title of it. Well, probably walking across a train bridge that was over a gorge. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where it's on those metal, yeah, one of those. Because if I had fallen, I would have died. I thought it was really cool at the time. I'm from Poland. I'm from Warsaw. I was born in 1975 in communist Poland. I moved to Africa and I lived in Algeria for five years and then I moved to Canada. Being carefree, playing from like from morning until the sun goes down when your mom calls you in for bed, you know? Yeah. Biggest lie? I can't tell you that. How can I tell you that? I have told many lies and I'm a very good liar. Like right now I'm really enjoying this interview. <laughs> that I really, really enjoy eating cow tongue and monkey brains. Excellent. Dip a little bread in that. I mentioned Poland, uh, Algeria, Morocco, Egypt, France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, all over Canada. I've been from, the, from BC all the way to, um, to PI. Um, in the States, all over the States. Um, I've never been to South America and I've never been to Asia, but everything else is pretty much covered. I love it. I find it invigorating. I, I find it really energizing, and um, I cannot sit. This is actually very uncomfortable for me right now. I don't like sitting. So very seriously, I had to find a job that would allow me to walk around during the day. And you'll be surprised how few jobs there are where you can actually come out of your desk. My children are six and seven. They're very, very, very active. They tire me out. <laughs> completely. They are very smart and they are very cute. They're very agile. They're in sports. They're complicated creatures. Um, sometimes I have no idea what's going on with them. And they're just, they're just lovely. Wonderful. You know, surprisingly, I think it would be a very peaceful, egalitarian society. I think you would probably isolate <laughs> um, the extremes. I found you guys very on, on a whole, as a group, not as individuals, because there's definitely a few crazies in there. But you're, a, you're a really lovely bunch this year. Respectful, thoughtful, but at the same time, you definitely don't abide by stupid rules or extraneous rules. Um, it'd be lovely. Nazywam się Joanna Schreier, mieszkałam i byłam urodzona w Warszawie w Polsce w 1975 roku. Mieszkałam trochę w Algierii i w Kanadzie. Dzisiaj pracuję w szkole, która się nazywa St. Thomas High School i uh, jestem bardzo szczęśliwa. Dziękuję. And then I said dziękuję because Borat says it. Did you ever notice that? Like he says dziękuję? Dziękuję just means thank you. But it's in Polish, so why a Kazakhstani played by a Jew would say dziękuję, I don't know.
Definitely to the Renaissance, early Italy, south, near Machiavelli and Medici, Florence. Hang out with them, obviously, and find out what the hell was going on back then. Very interesting time in history. A lot of secrets and a lot of uh, political, you know, um, strategizing. Very interesting times.